Hello mga kababas! Today is June 22, 2019 and we, we, with the bebe, we are on our way to Victory Pioneer! For our wedding prep! <laughs> marriage prep! Marriage prep! Ang puti ko naman. Oh, wala pa akong supply at wala pa akong kaayos-ayos kasi po, ano or sasabi natin? Nine. Sa pan namin, 9 niya ako sa the end kasi yung registration, 9.30. Tapos 10 yung start. Pero, napatay ko yung apat kong alarm. So, nagising ako 8.45 or mag-10 na 9 na. 8.50. Kaya, <laughs> lukutan, mama. And I am wearing my favorite no plancha shirt. Ayan. Pag nakita niyo yan yung suot ko, ibig sabihin wala na akong alas para maghanap ng damit at mag-plancha ng aking isusuot. <laughs> so ayun, sasama namin kayo sa marriage prep. So ano ba yung marriage prep? Simulan na, ngayon na namin i-explain kasi habang maliwanag, you know, later it's gonna be dark and ugliness. Yeah, it's gonna rain because it's my birthday. Yeah! It's June 25. Oh my gosh, na-miss ko sabihin yun. Hindi ako nakakapag-vlog. Hindi kami nakakapag-vlog kasi... Hindi rin kami nakakapag-edit. Pagod-pagod, <sighs> guys. Sorry na talaga, hindi ko pa na-edit. Mayroon pa kaming tatlo, dalawang vlog na hindi ko pa na-edit. But anyway, okay, ano nga ba yung marriage prep? Marriage prep is a preparation for the married life! <laughs> so yung vlog before this, nagkaroon kami na... Wedding interview. Wedding interview. Yeah. <laughs> so, medyo kasama. Magkakatok tong yan. Wedding interview, marriage prep, mm -hmm. wedding. Tantan, tantan, tantan. Kwenta po yan. Ganyan yung baby. Huh? Kanina lang siya mo. Nakawin ako kaka-5 a.m. Kaka-5 a.m. Kaka-5 a.m. So, syempre, nag-freshen up pa yung lola niya. Kaka-5 a.m. 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 Kaka-5 a
physical union, providential union, and a permanent union. Who you marry, you'll be married to that person as life continues on. What is it in my capacity that I can contribute to our unity? What is it that I can do to, to, to really work on the unity that God has called us to be? Because this is a call for both of you. Where are we sitting? No, where, where are we sitting? Father, mother, father, mother, Ryan, Coco, Kimberly, ay Lucas na lang. Lucas, Christian, Rachel, Kimberly, Joyce, Bebe. Alright. Wow. So shiny, guys. Dinner is done. Look at the food. Look at that. <laughs> Where are we right now? We are in a fast food chain. Yeah. Uy, look at that. Bagay na bagay na bit ko dito, mama. See? Oh, yung mukha din. <laughs> Pag Jollibee yung mukha ko. <laughs> so we're here in Makdo. It's already 11 o'clock. Gusto namin magkape. Hi daw, hi. Hi, say hi. Yo. All right. So, ate kanina ka pa ba nandito? Kanina pa ba daw siya nandito? Ayan. Ayan. Thank you for joining my vlog. Ano kaya magandang i-order? Anong masarap i-order ngayon? Kakatapos lang namin mag-dinner. Titingnan lang namin kung anong masarap i-order. So, ayan. Ayan, ate may sinasabi si ate. Puntahan ko po ulit si ate. Ate, nasa ka na? Pupuntahan ko ulit siya. Oh. Ano ate, masarap i-order. Ayan, nag si ate. So, tinatanong ko siya kung anong masarap i-order sa ating vlog. Okay guys, now we're setting up for our closing vlog. <laughs> teka, teka lang ah. Ayusin lang namin. Nandito lang kami sa likod ng trunk ng kotse ko. Hi guys. Oh, I'm shake. Hey, sorry. I'm Hello. Hi. What's up, guys? Gusto niyo po bang gusto niyo bang makita ko nasaan yung camera ngayon? Makikita niyo yan. Kita ba nila? Whoa, Yo, yeah. no. Inception. The ticks, the tacks, the ticks, the tacks, the ticks, the tacks. Anyway. Proud ba kayo sa amin? Iba yung location so, namin sa pagkuklose ng vlog. Kasi sinasabi nga namin sa inyo, wala kaming bahay pa. So, hindi pa namin alam kung saan kami magkuklose ng vlog. Since feeling namin nagsasawa na kayo sa loob ng kotse, naghanap kami ng isang open parking space. Ang ating manual from marriage prep. Yahoo! Yahoo! Yan ang aming manual. Okay. Manual. Okay ngayon, nandito kami para i-share sa inyo yung mga natutunan namin sa marriage prep kanina. Yo! Sa aming first day. First session. session first session. Na first session. Hindi, hindi. Hindi, hindi siya first, session. Tanong, first, first day. First day, na first na day of class. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Yahoo! Okay. Okay. Ito lang yung mga pinaka nag-stick sa amin. Okay. Para sa akin, first, it's God's idea. Kahit walang notes yan, kahit walang ano, hindi ko makakalimutan yun. Kasi sobrang nag-stick talaga siya sa akin, yung God's idea. Yung marriage, God's idea siya. It's not, uh, yes, it, it, it was my idea. I wanted to marry her, she wanted to marry me. But at the end of the day, it's God's idea. So yung marriage, yung buong marriage, not just for us, not just for other people, but the whole concept of marriage, it is His idea, God's idea. Yon. Yes, so you build your relationship based on God's God. idea yes. of marriage, how He orchestrated it. One of the things na sinabi niya dito na you sinabi nila dito yung Christ-centered marriage. So, paano mo build yung foundation na yun is when you put Christ at the center sa marriage niyo or when you put 
Christ at the center sa sarili sa isa't isa kasi at the end of the day yung foundation nyo ang kailangan maging matatag which is si Christ kasi siya yung hindi nagbabago hindi nag hindi 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 wala hindi nagbabago hindi siya pabago-bago walang pagbabago lahat ng bago always stable always consistent si Christ lang yun so, kaya kung gusto niyo maging consistent yung marriage niyo gusto niyo maging consistent yung yung kung ano meron kayo at stable si Christ ang foundation ng kasal at marriage Baba dito, the Bible is the final authority for our conduct, values, and beliefs. So, an example kanina na if ever meron kayo mga hindi mapagkasunduan na mga bagay-bagay, may gusto yes. ako, may gusto siya, may truth akong sinasabi, may truth siyang sinasabi, the only thing na mag-unite sa amin or sa kung kahit sino mang couple is kapag meron kayong isang truth na babalikan, which is yung truth from God's the Word, from yes. the Bible. Nag-o ko mag-share ano, ng... Actually, bago kami mag-deep or mag-share na pa ng mga ibang thoughts, sinabi din ni Pastor Patrick Lee, marriage starts now. Ito, marriage, you build your marriage from the start of courtship. Yes, from the start of courtship, meaning kung nagliligaw ka pa lang, kung, alam mo yun, kung may intention ka pa lang napakasalan siya or kung may intention ka pa lang na ligawan siya, doon nagsistart na yung marriage. Kasi, importante na yung start building your marriage from the start of courtship kasi yun yung magiging foundation nyo yun yung magiging foundation nyo pag kinasal na kayo sa married life nyo and more than anything importante yung foundation di ba? parang yeah. kung kahit gano pa kaganda on the outside on the physical kung ah sobrang goals naman yung itsura ng couple na to yeah. sobrang nakakilig ganyan pero if mababaw yung foundation ng relationship nyo wala It's parang, bound to fall. Parang bahay lang yan. Kung maganda yung pagkaka-build ng bahay nyo, maganda yung foundation, yung foundation ng bahay nyo sobrang tibay, kahit bumagyo yan, magkaroon ng earthquake, nandyan pa rin yung bahay na yan. So, ganun din sa marriage. Yung foundation, kung saan mo binibuild yung foundation mo or yung marriage nyo, pag nagkaroon ng bagyo or pag nagkaroon ng mga problema, problema or typhoon pa yan or anything, yes. hindi basta-basta masisira kasi yung foundation natin, is si God. Ito pa, nakalagay dito. Ano lang to, illustration, ganyan. When the house is done, renovation will, will be costly. So you have to fix the foundation of your marriage. So pag tapos na yung bahay, di ba, pwede mong i-renovate, pwede mong baguhin, pero malaki yung gastos, malaki yung pagod, time, effort, lahat. So ganoon din sa marriage. If, ayun na, kinasal na kayo, pero hindi okay yung foundation ng relationship nyo, or hindi okay yung foundation ng marriage nyo, Pwede naman siya, of course naman may grace yeah. naman si Lord, pwede siyang baguhin, pwede siyang ayusin and all. Pero kung may chance ka naman, di ba, na ayusin na yung foundation ng relationship niyo from the beginning, why not do that? Yeah. So ngayon, sa mga tip lang sa mga lalaking nag, nang liligaw dyan or may mga gusto ng ligawan, you're building your marriage already sa courtship pa lang. So yeah. kung saan nyo binibuild yung foundation na yun, doon yung mabibi, doon, doon magla-last yung marriage kung basta nagbibuild na kagad kayo ng foundation nyo ngayon pa lang well as a man ito talaga yung nag-speak sa akin din isa sa mga nag-speak sa akin kapag plano ni God or if it's God's idea there's three piece first may purpose si God second may presence si God nandun siya and may provision siya So parang sa akin, Lord, thank you. Maraming maraming salamat kasi una-una purpose mo to. Kaya rin naman kami magpapakasal because we heard it from God. So we know na na may, pur may purpose siya. And at, I'm telling you, a lot of times we feel His presence because of this relationship. Even today, na naramdaman ka talaga namin yung presence niya, yung presence niya. We know that He's here with us. And yung pinaka-pinaka favorite ko talaga doon. <laughs> kung nandyan si God, kung may purpose siya, may provision si God. Oh, so kaya-kaya namin magpakasal. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Ako favorite ko, guys, yung presence. Well, wow. baka, baka, <laughs> baka kasi nagsispeak talaga sa akin yung provision. Kasi para alam mo, Lord, we're praying for provision for everything, for the house, for the wedding, mm -hmm. and for all. So if I know that this is God's idea, so Lord, ikaw na bahala dyan. So basically, diba? sinishare na namin sa inyo lahat nung nandun sa marriage. <laughs> Oo nga. 
Ito na talaga, last na. Okay lang ba, malas? O, meron ka pa bang gusto ito? Meron akong last one. O, sige. Ito, lack sa akin. Marriage is a sacred covenant. Sobrang na-touch ako dito at nakakaiyak siya nung in-explain na parang when you say your vow sa altar, parang it's not just your promise to your spouse or your future spouse, pero yung, kung ano man yung vows mo, nire-receive yun ni God and He holds you accountable for it. Na, for example, I... Nandun ka, nasa harap ka ng altar, and then nagsabi ka na, oh, I vow to love you, I promise to ganito, ganyan. Yung promises na binibigay mo sa spouse mo, hindi lang siya para sa spouse mo, pero it's a promise you are making to God also. Parang covenant mo rin siya with God. Na nakaka-touch at nakakaiyak at nakakatakot, di ba? Kasi parang, Lord, part si Lord nun. So, be careful what you promise. Yun. Kasi sinabi ni Pastor Patrick dito na Your wife is God's fulfillment to your life Again, your wife is God's fulfillment to your life So God Again? completes it by <laughs> God completes it by providing your wife Okay, pag ginasal na kayo, pwede mo nang sabihin sa asawa mo You complete me, ganyan Pero it doesn't necessarily mean na kinukompleto ka ng magiging asawa mo, ng husband or ng wife mo. Parang you are made complete, you are made one. Yes, through your spouse, pero it is still God who is making you complete. Kasi yeah. kung sino, si God yung nagbigay sa'yo ng wife or ng husband mo. So, yun. You complete me. Okay, anyway! Okay, maraming maraming salamat! Vlog. Again, subscribe! Parang ang bitin ng subscribe. Pare-pareho damit ko dito! <laughs> Subscribe, like our video yes. if you like it, comment anything you want to comment. At kung gusto nyong, kung may natutunan talaga kayo, share it now! Facebook, IG, ano, laban tayo, nag-track, no? <laughs> if may questions kayo, lagyan nyo sa comment, so, sasagutin namin! Oh, so, comment lang lang, comment, hindi na masyadong shaky. Gusto nyo shaky? <laughs> oh, di ba? Shaky. Alright, maraming maraming salamat, guys! Bye! Ciao!